restless when the track hits my soul restless to the point i lose control i get so restless feel that body heat hey it's johnny miller here from sub bass in london back to give you another little quick tip for ableton live 9 today um i'm doing a kind of housey thing and i've got a vocal sample that i really like that i want to get a kind of like looping effect um, and kind of play with the loop and kind of pick out different bits of the loop to create a nice kind of repetitive sound. Here's my beat, just using the 606 drum kit that's in the Ableton Core library. And I've got this vocal here. And I quite like the way that it just kind of re revolves around and is nice and repetitive. What I'm going to do is use the uh, loop brace inside the audio clip, the vocal clip to kind of pick out little bits of the loop. I'm going to switch my fixed grid inside the clip to 1 over 8. And that's going to essentially break up the vocal into kind of four bits, these four little bits. And if I click on the loop brace, I can now size the loop brace down to a single section of the loop. And if I click on the, the loop brace and make it dark, I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard, just on my Mac keyboard here, to just move that around. And what I'll do, I'll hit record and lay down into a range view a, a little combination of loops. Uh, so if I just give this a little practice. Just going to keep working it around. And it's got this nice kind of rolling feel to it. Now, because Global Quantize is switched on to one bar, Ableton's always going to keep everything in sync. And as soon as I'm just moving in eighth notes, it will always stay in time. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is literally just hit record. And just start moving things around. Again, I'm just using my arrow keys here to pick out the different sections. Okay, so let's go to a range view and see what I've just recorded. And let's just zoom in on this first little section. I'm just going to hit back to arrangement so I can see what I've got. And that's uh, what I've recorded, just all these different loop changes um, that I recorded in from session view down into a range view. <laughs> And the idea here is that you build up little sections of looped parts. For instance, I can now take the first eight bars, if I highlight all that in a range view, and just hit Command J on my keyboard. That's just going to consolidate all that into one clip. Now, of course, I can use that for arranging, or if I just pick up the clip, click down on the clip and hit Tab, I can just drop that back into session view. And I've now got an eight bar clip of kind of looped vocals that's changing over time. And I could build up my session view uh, sketch, my track sketch in session view using those component parts. So you can just kind of spend time recording little sections down. There might be a little interesting bit here that I could pick out like that, for instance. Let's consolidate that drop it into session view, so click down on the clip, hit tab, and that's like another little part I've got. So once I hit loop, obviously that will carry on playing. There we go. And I can start getting creative with 
clip envelopes and kind of change this about, use my warping on here to stretch little bits of the audio, just generally get creative. So that's a really nice little tip and all of that comes from just having a one bar loop and just using the loop brace, moving it around inside the clip. Again, just using my arrow keys on my keyboard, hitting record, um, so you're laying stuff down into a range view. And this essentially just gives you nice little bits of content, uh, nice little clips that you can use to help build up a track. Okay, I'll be back again soon with some more little quick tips for Ableton Live. Um, enjoy that one and uh, get creative and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. I get so restless when the track hits my soul. Restless to the point I lose control. I get so restless. Feel that body heat.